to the city of angels. This is Sukeban. My name is Kazim Famiwire, joined here by the wonderful Zaya and the remarkable Renee Paquette is in the building. Get ready for some of the most incredible Japanese female professional wrestling in the world. Saya, talk to me about what we're going to see tonight. All right, so Joshi Pirolis is, has a lot to of the history that over like the 50 years. It's so getting like changing and powerful. So it's going to be making it another history. As I'm, I'm from Japan, I'm a Japanese. So excited to watch that. <laughs> I am so excited to be here tonight. Listen, for women's wrestling here in America in the last 10, 15 years, so much has changed, but to feel this energy, to see what is happening here tonight for Sukeban, it all comes back to our commissioner, Bo Nakano. She put it all on the map. Professional wrestling is having a boom right now. And I promise you, if you're a wrestling fan, you're about to watch a show you've never seen before. Fast-paced, hard-hitting, high-flying action. This is Sukeban. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. That's so good. <laughs> Are you ready for the rumble? Hello, Los Angeles. Hello, Los Angeles. I can hear you. Hello, Los Angeles. My name is Kunichi Nomura, and I'll be your host for the evening. Tonight, we have brought to Los Angeles the greatest wrestler in the world, straight from Japan. And they are the Dangerous Liaisons. The Harajuku Stars. The Vandals. The Cherry Bomb Girls. and a stray cat. <laughs> they will wage battle to determine who is the best and who will be the crowned Sukeban World Champion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the rumble? <laughs> are you ready for the rumble? Thank you. Arigato. 
This is Skeban. Our first match this evening is Tag Team Grudge Match. First making their way to the ring, representing the Vandals, Otaku-chan and Midnight Player! about the vandals about to come out right now a taco chan at midnight player now for folks that are just coming to suke bond for the first time this is all about gang warfare Sire. now the vandals very popular out here with suke bond talk to me about taco chan and midnight player yes yeah, actually so this team is so special and so popular and also it's in new york because you played the performance over there There, as I hope, like in a great performance to be on the ring on the third Saturday for this. Yeah. Let's not forget that we also have Bingo as maybe a little bit of a player in this match tonight, accompanying with the Vandals here. You know, Bingo is a little bit of a wild card yeah. here, but I think the Vandals as a whole is a wild card. Now, Ataku means nerd in Japanese. I'm feeling a little nerdy myself <laughs> watching what's about to happen, but I'm so excited. Well, maybe I love we can get you a wedgie tonight, too. And oh. their opponent, first from the Cherry Bomb Girl, Super Sony! Supersonic is known around the world as one of the fastest professional wrestlers on the planet. You are in for a treat when it comes to Supersonic, the aptly named Supersonic. Sai, what can we expect from her action tonight? It's really so, it's like in the battle and also the powerful, but this team also is powerful and the speed. So I'm so expecting some more like in a great performance Ooh. over in the ring. I'm so expected for this. Let's also keep in mind here that Supersonic came out of retirement to join the Cherry Bomb Girls. If that gives you any indication of just how special this is here tonight. Now, Supersonic is a tag team and specialist. And finally coming to the ring is her partner, the Stray Cat. Now the Stray Cat and Sukeban, it's all about gang warfare, it's all about the stables, but Stray Cat is the only one on the roster that is unaffiliated. Now she's had her pick of the litter of people who would want to join her crew, but she's still riding solo for now, Renee. Do you think that's a good idea? I think it is a great idea. I love that Stray Cat is picking and choosing her moment picking where she wants to strike. You can already feel the love for her here tonight. Yeah, you know, I know you go, You always got a soft spot for the loners out there. Uh, I do. So you I love respect a lone wolf, it. A lone cat. <laughs> I respect it. Now, uh, Supersonic is a tag team specialist, but teaming up with Stray Cat right now, especially her not being affiliated with any groups here in Sukeban, is this going to be something that's going to need a little bit of meshing when it comes to tag team wrestling? It's all about chemistry when it comes to the battle. It's certainly all about chemistry, but we spoke about that wild card situation here. I think that that applies to Stray Cat here, too. I'm excited to see what she is going to bring to the party here tonight. All right. And you, you use the words so perfectly because it definitely is a party in here in downtown Los Angeles. Let's get it cracking. Ataku Chan and oh. Supersonic will kick us off on the first match in Sukaban, Los Angeles. Bingo almost got bit there. <laughs> Irish whip it to the ropes. We got a leap frog. Oh. oh. Saya, talk to me about the love for Ataku Chan. Yeah, Ataku Chan is so popular. Look at this. But she has the power and more like, you know, she has like, you know, it's so fighting is killer that she has. So I really am so, and I'm so excited to see and in the her future. And everything is gonna be so great, I believe. So excited to watch and 
just sort of keep counting you like the watching it here. Man, we talked about the speed of Supersonic, but Takachan is no slouch herself. Now we got the powerhouse, the midnight player hopping in. Now she's the muscle of the group when it comes to the Vandals, but Stray Cat is not here for the play play. That says his takeover. And now we got a quick standoff. Nope, kick to the gut by midnight player into the ropes. Well, we're going to the other side. Look, if we Stray Cat. Oh! Yeah. Running kick. bicycle kick right into the jaw. Midnight player is shook up. And the Supersonic and Stray Cat, they may not be a, a tag team, but they're showing some really good chemistry early on in this match there. They are smooth tonight. Here we go. Speaking of smooth. Hot. They're One, so two. in sync. You're telling oh. me these guys are not tag teams before? <laughs> this is a thing of beauty. Listen. Yes, this is a cool one. Now like, this... <laughs> This doesn't necessarily hurt you, but it sure does annoy you. Yeah. <laughs> what a performance. Look at this. They are dancing on the wing. <laughs> Supersonic, you talk about the speed of her. We just got a little taste of there. <laughs> right. Hey, listen, they might not be a tag team, but they got a pretty solid uh, handshake already going. But um, two count, Midnight Player kicks out from Stray Cat's near fall. All right. You know what they say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. We've seen that here tonight with Midnight Player. That's right. I mean, Stray Cat has oh. already shown. Oh, we got a hard forearm into the gut. Oh, hard chop into the back. Midnight Player. Oh. A little bit of a variation into the sling blade right there Stray for Cat's Midnight gonna, Player. Stray Cat's going to have to tap into those nine lives here tonight. <laughs> now look at that. They are so the power, like, you know, the pinch, like, kick. Yeah, because everything is so great, and I'm so excited. Yeah. Midnight Player getting a nice stretch into the back of that neck. That cannot feel comfortable for Stray Cat. Now, I know Cats are a lot more limber, but... That does not tickle at all, there's, Renee is saying. No, there's many ways to skin a cat, and we're going to see that here tonight. <laughs> okay, so tuck chin is coming. I don't know how many more cat sayings I have, but we'll see what I can tap into. Hey, we got enough cat puns to last us the entire night. <laughs> okay, a tuck here we go. is going up top. Is she going to go old school? Yes, this is a hop up for us. I love it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Could Shades of the Undertaker. Woo! And now we got a little bit what a takedown by Ataku-chan. Poor Stray Cat needs to get over to Supersonic sooner than later. She's been in there for a while. <laughs> it feels like Ataku-chan is getting power I like, I like from her hat. It's a helicopter all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Miss clothesline, duck underneath. Oh, a little bit of a trip right there from Stray Cat. And Bingo, the X Factor yes. of this match, is already paying dividends for the Vandals. You don't show up in an outfit like that to not wreak a little havoc. <laughs> I love a little havoc every now <laughs> and then. Takuchan with a straight right into the oh, gun. And again, yeah. here's a Bingo, come on. It's a two-on-two -two match. It's clearly clearly taking advantage and this is why Stray Cat needs to really consider joining her stable. She is overmatched almost every time she's out there. Yeah, Stray Cat's getting her claws out now. <laughs> Renee in the puns. Let's keep it going. You got an Irish whip. No, no. Reverse. Another reverse. One more reverse. Oh! And again! Bingo! That was not in the playbook for the Vandals just now. Oh. Oh! The precision oh. of that kick straight yeah. to the temple. Spinning roundhouse kick right to the temple. That's great. The Taku-chan needs to get her bearings. She may need to spin that hat just a little bit to probably focus up real quick. Power up, baby. Go, go, gadget. <laughs> Helicopter hat. Yes, that's going to be like so powerful right now. Yep, and here comes Vintage yes. Supersonic right now. You can't catch her. You can only hope to contain her. Flying back elbow. Right to Otaku Chana, she needs a tag. Ah, uh, here comes Midnight Player back in the action. Oh, we got a roll up right here. Oh, whoa. Even the referee, there we go. One, two. Kick out by Midnight Player. That's all Mars. 
first. Yeah, I think everyone's feeling supersonic after that one. Oh my goodness. The, the fast paced action of this match is almost hard to keep up with. With Bingo on the side, the fast paced action from Stray Cat and Supersonic. Oh, Good you got to go. break up. Oh my goodness. I'll this tell you one thing that brother does not breathe. It is hot under that thing. <laughs> Bingo right again. The bingo the good shot. You know, Renee, he was right on the money. And oh, mid nine player bye with bye a bingo. running boot. This will take a look at the super song. Oh. Right now. Those long yeah. legs coming into play. This yeah. should be it. Oh. Another near fall for Midnight Player, and she is looking frustrated. She's got to harness those emotions that could get in the way of sealing the deal here on Supersonic. Oh, got That's a little variation of the crossroads right there, made famous by Cody Rhodes. And we got a, a rather unique submission right here, almost a little bit of a wishbone, and now we're gonna go grab that arm. And if she leaves this arm back, she's gonna need to go see a doctor real soon. Oh. oh, yeah, she's going to have to. And we got a submission victory. That's it. The Midnight Player and Otaku Chan of the Vandals score a victory via submission. What a finish right there to kick off Sukiban Los Angeles. The winner is Midnight Player and otaku -chan, the Vandals! Hell of a way to kick things off here tonight. Renee Saya, incredible match to start off tonight here at Sugiba Los Angeles. Stray Cat and Supersonic came in the fan favorites, but there were no match for that variation armbar that got Midnight Player the tap out victory. Brian didn't expect, but you know, I mentioned to you in the beginning that it's so powerful that I couldn't see, we couldn't see that the powerful, like the rest, like is so happy to see. Stray Cat might have to go back to the litter box, lick off her wounds, and maybe pick a team. Yeah, you Let's know, go. It, it definitely paid dividends to have that extra body. Bingo was absolutely the X factor in this match. Yep. But Midnight Player, with that power and that submission, scores the victory for the Vandals. I gotta know where she got that hat from. I yes. wanna know about all these looks. You know? Yeah, it's so cute, like the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of Doraemon like that oh, on the yeah. helicopter. <laughs> if she would've went off the top rope with that hat, I'm sure she would've floated for like a good eight, Cut ten, a little ten air. seconds. Cut a little air. hang time. <laughs> right. Our next match is Special single match, scheduled for one fall. One fall. Making their way to the ring from the Harajuku Stars, Maya Mamushi! Maya Mamushi of the Harajuku Star. Tough, firm, hard hitting competitor. But man, she has her work cut out for her tonight in this second match of Suki by Los Angeles. Look Sam. at the accolades of Maya yeah. Mamushi. So many championships under her belt already. That's what it has a lot of experience here. So sick excited. Look at her, like the, her appearance and how like in a costume. I love it. Look at this, like, it's cool. It's so like a Harajuku is what's written in over there. It's a little Sailor Moon-ish. Yeah, I was, I was a little Sailor Moon bit. vibes. <laughs> For sure. Even if she is like a belly, she's like a thing, but like she has a power. That is a good point of mm -hmm. yes. And her opponent from the Cherry Bomb Girl, Sally Bomb. Sally Bomb shook the pro wrestling world up a few months ago when she announced she was leaving WWE NXT to come be a part of the movement that is Sukiban, and I think she made a hell of a choice 
because not only is she loved here, she's one of the youngest competitors on the roster and has a real, real big shot at making some noise here at Sukudon. To be as well traveled, as well versed as Sari Bomb is to have her here in, in Suke Bomb, this is a huge get. I mean, you can hear the crowd erupting for Sari Bomb. Yeah, they even in Japan, like they're here, and also they have a lot of the fans here, and also have a very good experience here. So great. Now this is it, 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 people say that styles make fights. This is absolutely a case of that. On one side, you got Maya Mamushi, an absolute technical wizard, firm and a hard hitting, especially with those lethal kicks. And on the other side, you got Sari Bomb, who has been traveling all over the world, perfecting her craft, and is now here in downtown Los Angeles to get it cracking. Sari Bomb has been compared to the likes of Bull Nakano, of Minami Toyota. She has that fighting spirit. I got to tell you, Renee, I've been to a lot of wrestling matches over my life. <laughs> I'm sure you have to. <laughs> yes. This is so lit. If you're not here in Los Angeles, you're for sure missing that. It's one thing, I think, to be a fan here watching, but the fact that we get to be here and call this action. Best seats in the house. Unbelievable. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, a little bit of uh, sportsmanship being shown by the two competitors so far. Looks like we're going to get into some real physical action. A great action, a great performance on the wing. This is a so great for both of them. This is Maya's first singles match mm. yes, tonight, right? Yes. Mm. A little bit of a stalemate here, collar and elbow tie up. All right, another stalemate between the two stars, and oh, here we go. Time to move. Okay, we got Maya Mamushi with a wrist lock. Oh, Roll through went. by Saray. Another wrist lock applied. <laughs> Seems like a little bit of a feeling out process. Certainly, the two right. right now. That's when you can tell that it is two pros feeling each other out. They're taking their time, they're feeling it out there. No one's trying to rush anything. Mm -hmm. One mistake, and it could cost you a match. We saw earlier in the first uh, competition. Right now, nobody wants to make a mistake. You want to make sure you have an incredible showing here in the city of Angels. Saya, talk to me about why this is considered a dream match. Dream match because they especially one of the things, the very good thing is that they have the experience all over the world. It's not only Japan, but also all over the world, and they have a great action, great performance on the ring. That's why the people, the gathered people, are so excited to the popular over here. By Mamushi got the upper hand early in this contest. Oh, Lake trip. Wow. Misses on the drop kick. And she paid for it. Like we said earlier in the match, it's going to take being completely careful and not rushing into anything because these two competitors are so well traveled. One mistake could cost you a match. You can tell. You can tell that these women have been watching each other, kind of staking each other out. They know where each other's oh. going. Right. Matrix escape out of the near fall. Look at this. That's a kick. Some of the most lethal kicks in the business right there. Saudi Bomb is getting ready to turn up, and here she comes. I think Saudi Bomb's looking to close this one out early, too. I don't think she wants to take her time anymore. Saya, this yeah. is a pretty... A uh, strategic plan from Saudi right now. Right. Mamushi is very well known for her lethal kicks. Now working on the knee, it could definitely slow her down, and maybe those kicks aren't as lethal with all those leg locks being applied. Yes, that's right. Like, so they know each other. They know the skill. So that's why it's like they see the timing. And so right, right, right now, it's, it's going into like the more strong like style is it's changing right now. Mm -hmm. I believe so. To watch Sari Bomb tie up. Maya, the way that she's been doing, getting every single advantage, but they're just throwing haymakers at the same time. And we got a bit of an elevated Boston Crab by Sunny Bomb, and now we got a leg lock over here trying to wrench back on the lower back and the knees of Mamushi. She, oh, come on, Ruff, you gotta get uh, in there with the, the hair. hair pull. It's gotta be so hard. <laughs> All right, we got a little bit of a camel clutch action right now. Made famous by Shiki Baby, the Iron Sheik. 
watching Sari, you can see how well traveled she is. She knows what it feels like to be under these bright lights. You're here in Los Angeles. All attention is on her, and she's soaking up every second of that. Absolutely. More stiff kicks to the back. Really wearing down Mamushi. Now, you said anybody who's been following Suki Bond this entire time, from New York to Miami, she's been in tag team action. Mm -hmm. Right now, she's getting work, and she doesn't have anybody she can tag to to get her out of the ring right now. This might come back to harm. This is a huge, huge test for Mamushi here tonight. Oh. They have a lot of the style, like, you know, cut, cut, the color and the context. So, so, so many, like, things is the styling and the techniques that they're using. So that is so interesting, the point. Great ring awareness by Maya to be able to wrap Saki for Sorry Bomb up in the ropes. You know, uh, earlier in the match, Maya was getting the knee worked on to really work on those kicks. And now we know the style of Sari and working on that arm is definitely both ooh, arms now ooh. is going to go a long way to avoid those lethal submissions that Sari has been known for. Yeah. Oh, we got a head scissors, a headlock right here. Oh my goodness! Ooh. Your neck's going one way and your arms going the other. That That's does not style. feel good. Sorry, just, trying with Sorry's everything reaching to reach for, for the ropes. ropes. Trying to force a rope break, and she does. Oh, it's beautiful ring awareness. Right. Sari is definitely feeling the effects of all the work on that arm that's been happening so far in this match. Maya's going to keep applying the pressure, trying to anyway. Maya going for that T-bone suplex, but oh, we got a victory oh. roll right here. Double slap into the stomach. And Sari has finally got the momentum back on her side. I think my ovaries felt that. <laughs> oh, super kick right into the chin. The precision of that kick stopped the momentum of Sari Bomb in her tracks. And here is the educated feat that has gotten Maya so many victories in her career so far. And oh! Ooh. See, there it is. That's the same leg that's been worked on earlier in the match, that that right leg. Yeah, it's so exciting. The Los Angeles, she tried it to like the exciting in the audience like this. This is oh. a oh, Look at that deep bridge. Special. High oh. on the top. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get out of this one. A Romero special right here. Is she gonna tap? Is she gonna, there, she is right in the middle of the ring. She is a mile away from those ropes. Maya is locked up. Oh. Okay. And that's the thing about that type of move. It, it might take just as much out of you as it does out of your opponent. Giving everything she can right now. Right. And it feels like we're getting into the deep waters. Oh! Stalemate. Oh. <laughs> Forget all that scientific wrestling. There's no sign for a, a straight flush into the chops. <laughs> Flying drop kick by Maya Mamushi. And now it seems like it's going to be a race to who can get back on their feet. Both. both of these women have been giving it their all this entire match. Yeah, they are both digging deep at this point, wondering what do I have to do to put this woman away? <laughs> Those thuds, right? <laughs> the <Right. stern. laughs> And it's here comes that fighting spirit that Suri Bomb has been known for for so much of her young career. <laughs> this hard-hitting action is what we see in Joshi-style wrestling, right? Right, and even if like the Joshi, but they have the power. That's oh! so strong. Oh, Good Lord. Oh, my gosh. 
Those educated feet. Oh! Lord. Who's gonna fall first? Like. But see her. Ooh! That was a huge appeal Good there. night. Yeah. I think Sari's gotta be done here. This is it for Maya. Oh! <laughs> Running knee. Yes, it's a good right to kick, though. That momentum took Sari right through the ropes. Sari is losing the wits about herself right now. One, two, kick out. Sari, oh, you talk about the fighting spirit. Fighting spirit is so beautiful. This thing, like, it's so powerful. It's very important thing. It's so great. Poor thing is this one. Absolutely. These ladies are digging deep to find that fighting spirit to keep it inside that ring. I think it's that's a bomb. Oh, we got a pass on one, okay. two. Oh, oh, kick out. Sari is not letting up. She's got another near fall. One, two. A kick oh out again. God. What the fuck with ass? Sari, oh my god, another row. One, two. Oh, kick out again. Can Sari keep her foot on the gas pedal? She is so close to closing this one out on Maya. There's a very fine line between determination and frustration. And Sari is dancing on her right now. She feels like she got the match in her grasp, but can't keep Maya down. And here's that T-bone suplex. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness. No, sir. One German time. suplex. When do we start counting these suplexes? We're going to start right? keeping a tally? <laughs> <laughs> suplex City was born just a few miles down in San Jose, California. <laughs> and we are right back here in downtown LA seeing it once again with these two incredible athletes. And Spit Pottery was the power. Nice assist from the ref right there. Helping with the wardrobe. Ladies helping ladies. That's what we're doing out here. Love to see it. And it's a strong display of a strong connection to the hairs. Oh, we got a fisherman buster. Bridget. Oh. Kurt Henning never seen a better perfect flex than that. Sorry, oh, put everything goodness. she had into that so high up on those tippy toes. Here we go again. Maya with nowhere to go! Oh my god! Oh, what's a kick of this? Oh, I hope she had the dental man. plan. Damn! Woo. Somebody pick up some teeth in the front row. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. You can count to 300 when you get kicked in the face like that, oh Renee. My Sam. God, listen, we started off hot with tag team action, but the bar has just been set again by Sari Bomb and Maya Mam Mamushi. Sorry, Bomb, picking up for the team of the Cherry Bomb. Lost the match earlier with Supersonic, but Sorry put the team on her back with a huge victory over Maya Mamushi. Kaz, have you picked a gang yet? You know. Do you have any gang affiliation? I like to, I like to be neutral here in Los Angeles. Okay, you know? okay. That's why I'm wearing white. Okay. You know. You're like the stray cat. I'm a stray cat okay. right now. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> What a win for Sari Bob, one of the most highly touted Joshi professional wrestlers on the planet. Made a name for herself around the world and is back here in the States in this wonderful, wonderful night of Japanese professional wrestling. Great, great victory. Yeah, she made it on another like the good way to hit the Joshi Pro Wrestling. But she has a lot of experience and then also the great skill she again did on the ring tonight. So it's really great. All right, are you having fun? Sukeba, Sukeba, Sukeba. Hi. <laughs> All right. The next match is a tag team match. 
Schedule for one fall. Making their way to the ring from the dangerous liaison, Konami and the Queen of Hearts. Here comes the Queen of Hearts and King Konami. King Konami, an incredible martial artist in her own right. The Queen of Hearts, no slacker as well. But this is our first look at the Dangerous Liaisons all night so far. They've already got themselves a little bit of a reputation in Sukiban so far, Saya. Talk to me about the Dangerous Liaisons. Like, they also have experience, but at the same time, I'm so focused on their performance on the ring. And look at this, they're like the good way, the huge kawaii, like the cute, like the style of, you know, the, you know, the style. So that's why I'm at the same thing. It's like the skill and the style. I want to focus on the belt. King Konami comes in here with Dangerous Liaisons, but formerly a member of Tokyo Cyber Squad, which was led by the late Hana Kimura. Right, Hannah Kimura, so we like, especially the Japanese farmers, we the parkers and all Wait that, like Hannah Kimura. But, you know, because of her, we informed. understand it. We, we have know a very the special guest Joshi tonight. Joshi to grow up. So we wanted to focus on more and more about, like, the Joshi Pro. Welcoming the Harajuku Stars to Los Angeles we got a, we got a special guest. is international superstar and honorary Skeba member. Sweet! Wow. Wow. Global hip hop artist, superstar. Hold on. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Are you kidding me? Sweetie is in the building with the Harajuku wow. stars. Love to see it. What a special day to mine in Los Angeles. And anybody who's listened to a lot of Sweetie music knows how much affinity she has for Harajuku style, her Japanese fashion. So her linking up with the Harajuku stars isn't that much of a surprise. She knows what time it is when it comes to coming down to Sugiban and seeing what's popping down here. Very kawaii. Yeah, the kawaii is just cute. And it's just great to see like, the mix of like, in a Japanese style and from the overseas style of belt. It's just so great. It's been a, so been a bad a week for an artist in wrestling right this week, <laughs> no hasn't it? No doubt. <laughs> I tell the reason dancing in the kind of Japanese style. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about the Harajuku star, Babyface, obviously. A right. fan favorite out here, as well as Saki Bimi. Yes. Saki Bimi is kind of the girl star. It's, it's, it's so famous in 1990. It's for Japan. Many of the people, the girls in Japan. So, the style. Why is Babyface the wild card for this match? Mm -hmm. what, what makes her so special? Um, it's like, so the many, like, she has, uh, like, even though she's young, but she has a lot of skills and a talent. And also, the girl, it's me, like, so famous as a future great Joshi wrestler. So, that's why the, everyone is so, you know, exciting and focused on the best wrestler, I think so. In the blue corner, Dangerous Liaison, Konami and the Queen of Hearts. And in the red corner is Harajuku Stars, Babyface and Saki Mi Bimi. 
They're adorable. I love them. <laughs> right. Like, but you know, right now in the Japanese culture, like the they like kind of like you know kawaii style. So the many plants was there. So Akihabara the Halajuku. Well, I like that style too. I'm in. <laughs> Let's get to the Halajuku. <laughs> The Harajuku stars and the dangerous liaisons have been feuding since Sukiban 1 that took place in New York City. And who can forget that show ending brawl that took place. What, what were the, the girls the saying there? What did they say? Did you catch it? What, what did they say? Did I didn't it? catch it. Sorry. You know, it's loud as hell in here. There's no it's surprise. It might be talking, this is coming, so let's, I'm focusing on that. <laughs> it's a Japanese language, though, so it's my professional. <laughs> That's all right. I thought I'd try. <laughs> you got Babyface kicking it off against the Queen of Hearts. The third match tonight at Sukiba in Los Angeles. Let's get it going. Oh, okay. Are we going for a test of strength here or a test of depth? Oh. oh. High drop kick wow. by the Queen of Hearts. It's a hat to <laughs> That hair is incredible. You yes, know? Look at this. Bone well breaker, heartbreaker. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh. You know. I got all the love and respect for the, for the officials, but they're just letting them just go. Like, not a tag or nothing. <laughs> it's like, let's just go. You know what, guys? Maybe we just don't need it right now. These Sometimes ladies are not even having a good time. And so am I. <laughs> We're just ruffling with vibes right now. You so need to get lost in all the rules. <laughs> don't let a little thing like tag take away from a tag team match. <laughs> Hard body slam by the Queen of Hearts. Daily wear is kind of a dress, but they have a power on the ring. Can you imagine? They have a power, a lot. Oh my goodness. King Konami, the powerhouse. Oh, of the poor Davis baby Royale. face. Oh. She's being picked apart right now, being made a fool in front of everybody here in downtown Los Angeles. Listen, I've been, I'm trying to be good on these referees right now, but they're just letting baby face oh. get mauled right now. Get in there. A little bit of a reset. Here we go. Well, baby again. face, she could just make it over there to Saki Bimi. Give, some, give the woman a break. My goodness, ah. man. Like, I have no idea what Saki Bimi is doing that is taking so much attention for the ref. But you got to get in there and break this up. It's one thing to have your limbs pulled apart, but when you have your nose messed with, your eyes are watering, you oh. can't see anything. That's the money maker right there. You want to get hit in the face? Not the face. Not oh. the face. Oh, oh it's a no. Oh. It's attacked. No attack to the face anymore. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Come on, ref. You got to yeah. pay attention. She's all yeah, caught up with what's there. going on with Saki Bimi. <laughs> Just don't rehearse to talk with her only. You know, Babyface is, you know, don't let the name fool you. She is tough as nails. Well, only, you could only take so much two on one action before you eventually succumb to it. Listen to the people yes. giving their love for Babyface here. Yes. That's just going for here a ride. Here we go. Yes, let's move we go. Babyface, go Bali. Let's go, go Bali. <laughs> Babyface can be such a mat technician, a jujitsu grappling genius. Yes, even if she's a young, it's so popular and I have experience here. Oh, Queen of Hearts just oh, so shrugged it off like it was nothing. Pull up that corset and get back to business. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Those blasts don't hit as hard when you be getting beat up by two people for the entire match. Can you hear like the thing? Like the voice is so cute. I love to hear. <laughs> it's cute, but she's gonna need more than cute at this point to start making some moves right. here. Oh, near for a senton splash. I'll Baby you. face finally gets the tag. Okay, here we go. Saki Bimi, one of the fan favorites. Let's see what she's made of. She's not just a fan favorite. She is the fresh woman in the match. So it's time for her to let loose and try and make some way in this tag match. 
two atomic drops, hitting the ropes, double oh. clothesline, kick through, okay. underneath, double oh, hold Oh, hell yeah! What is this? That is a quick way to turn the momentum around in this match. See, this is what Babyface needed. Yes. And Babyface will be coming. No, no. Nope. Oh. Oh yeah, look at this. We're we gonna turn it. Are we getting a little? Are we getting a little knot? We tied her in a knot. We're gonna turn it over. Yeah, I love oh, this. Oh lord. This is my favorite. Nowhere to go, buddy. You're a sick man, Cass. Uh, yes. Daddy is so hard. Talk to me nice. <laughs> oh man. The Harajuku stars are getting worked right now. One can't move. Another one's arm is. In the arm bar, this is tough. We tough didn't know sledding. much about dangerous liaisons coming into this match, but we're getting a, a good, clear-cut picture of what these ladies are all about. Oh, absolutely. That's a killer. Even with the power for the good light, like the wrestling is on the ring, but it's like, the, at the same time, I do like the cute thing that much. It's so adorable. I love it. You know what I think's cute? Winning. Yes. Know, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's go. Big, big momentum swing. And here comes Babyface. Oh, let's go, Babyface, company! Whip into the corner. Back elbow. Here we go, some fire from Babyface. Fire up, baby girl. Woo! Meteora. Oh, what's a jab? A cover. One, two, kick out. Babyface is relatively new. What's going to happen the second she gets that big win? Right. So it's so exciting. Like, you know, look at her. Like, the, she oh. works very hard. She doesn't give up. A little bit of an abdominal stretch right here, Saya. Roll up. No, nope. no pin. Watch your head. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's just hard. hard. Never give up. Never give up. Yes. Let's go, baby face. That's what somebody said once. <laughs> <laughs> In Joshi wrestling, it's all about the fighting spirit. Doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. It's Ooh. about when you get back up. And Babyface has been knocked down a lot this match. It's showing a ton of fighting spirit. When she gets cooking, she starts moving. You can start to see that experience come into play. Absolutely, yes. Renee. Kick right into the chops. That does not feel good. Forearm shivers. And Ooh. another one. Not enough strength for the Irish whip. Oh. Uh -oh. oh. Are we about to get a close up? Oh my gosh, that hurt my stomach. You know, the chemistry between Konami and Queen of Hearts is off the charts here tonight. We need to see a little bit more of that between Babyface and Saki Bimi. Damn, a Babyface game. Missed the roundhouse kick. Got a fireman's carry by Saki Bimi. That's coming up. Come on, Babyface, yeah, going up top. Go. Yes! What a crossbody by Babyface. A kick to the stomach. Stay and on here. the Queen of Hearts. Oh. Babyface plays some defense right now. While Saki Bimi gets busy on King Konami. Oh. Huge German suplex. One, two, two. kick off. Renee. Hey, listen, that was lots of days ago, but it's shoulders up, a shoulders up. I was going to say, I, it felt like the mind was willing, but the body <laughs> wasn't really able. <laughs> oh, Mishinoku wow. driver. One, two. two. Wow, it's a nice cut. Uh, King Konami got a little bit of a taste of her own medicine with that double team action. 
Oh! oh. Spinning vertical suplex by Saki Bibi. That is gonna be a three count and a victory for the Harajuku Stars. I told you what's wow. cute. Yeah, a win is cute. very that's kawaii. A one, one. I gotta say, if you're getting the fit off, you're gonna get a win off also. <laughs> yeah. And they sure did. I think Sweetie sprinkled a little winning magic dust on them before they came out. This match from the Harajuku Stars. Baby Pace and Saki Bibi! What a showing. Great. Look at that. Even if they work very hard on the ring, they are so cute. <laughs> They're adorable. Why the idol girls glue? Look at this. I'm hoping that after the show, we can hang out with them. I can learn a little bit more about Harajuku, a little bit more about Kauai. Yeah. The vibes are immaculate right they now sure downtown are. Los Angeles. Crowd is not an empty seat in the building. DJ ECAC got the music spinning. What an atmosphere here at Sugi Bar in Los Angeles. I'll tell you one thing that I love about seeing this is the little girls in the crowd soaking it up. Uh, don't we love to see it? These girls can fight. We're going to have a little break with a uh, new attraction. Please welcome Yo-Yo Champion and the Grandmaster, Ayumu Harada! Yo-yo action? Yeah. Y'all didn't tell me we were going to have yo-yo action. Wow. <laughs> walk the dog. Show me how to walk the dog. Get in the cat. <laughs> Side. Oh, okay. Wow. Walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Swing it through. Oh, it's a beautiful row. What kind of a man does it take to command an entire uh, venue like this? With just a yo yo. <laughs> that is good. I love Why? it. I tried to do the before, but you know, I never done the, you know, this great well with people when I was a child. It's so difficult, though. <laughs> Impressive. I have yo yo to my life. <laughs> I was never, and I mean ever, as good as this man. What was the last time you held a yo yo? Listen, we want to talk about 10,000 hours to become a master of something. <laughs> I've done it. I power is amazing. Yo, the swag is kind of on a thousand oh right my. now, though. Like, look at him. He's owning it. Oh! oh. Did you just see that? <laughs> oh my god! The ladies here in LA, they're noticing. <laughs> <laughs> Big facts. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, there's oh. more! But there's oh. more! Oh. He's going up top! High risk, high reward! <laughs> they oh call it high risk for wow. a reason. <laughs> we got more yo-yo action. We're getting multiple yo-yo oh. action. I've never called yo-yo <laughs> action before. <laughs> Yo, yo. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's feeling himself. Yes, He's, in the, right He's in, the oh, right yeah. in the zone right now. He's in the zone right now. He's in the zone right now. Make the recovery though. <laughs> uh oh. 
high pressure situation. Yeah. Oh, pressure. Oh. Plus pipes and makes diamonds, Renee. Oh. I, I'm not going to lie, ladies. This is some of the most incredible things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He's like the Kyrie Irving of yo-yoing <laughs> right now. <laughs> he's just doing whatever he wants yeah. with that string. He is He is the yo-yo. <laughs> he right. is one with the yo-yo. That's right. Oh, talk to me. Yes. 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 Oh on my me, gosh, please. yes, yeah. yes, yes. Dabbed on us and everything. <laughs> he kind of let me hanging on a high five, but it's all right. <laughs> His hands he, were off. He the earned it. Guy. <laughs> so we, 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 we're going to get like a yo-yo and it's a practice over there. <laughs> the next match is one-on-one -on -one gang warfare match with no disqualification uh -oh. and is scheduled for one fall. First, from the Dangerous Liaison, Lady Antoinette! <laughs> Renee, Lady Antoinette, her reputation precedes her. She kicks a whole lot of ass and is a deathmatch legend around the world. An okay. absolute legend, a gnarly brawler. She's an enforcer. She will do literally anything to secure a win, be it her fists or weapons. This woman's got it all. And as Marie Antoinette, I hope that maybe there's some pastries involved. <laughs> I would hope so. But I think uh, judging from that chain link in her hand, and no. uh, are those steel chairs? Oh, yeah, just a couple what steel is chairs. it on <laughs> She has a very cool style, but uh, you know, on the ring, she is uh, so powerful. Look at this, she is preparing for the hard progressing. Zaya, lots of times. Look at that. People wait until the bell rings to start going for the weapons. <laughs> Lady Antoinette said, no, no, uh, no. we're going to start now. right now. <laughs> Keep in mind that Lady Antoinette is also undefeated oh. here in Sukeban. She comes in with a clear-cut advantage for this match and this match stipulation. I just thought I would not want to get on her bad side. Hell no. <laughs> but my wow. girl's coming up next. Oh, it's all next okay, making her see way to the ring. Let's check it out. Representing the Vandals, Atmik Banshi. The Vandals have had an up and down night so far. Started off the night with a victory with a soccer shot of midnight player. They could go two up against the Deagis liaisons who just got a, a loss earlier in the night. But in a no disqualification match, all bets are off, really. Listen, Kaz, I don't know why I feel a kinship with Atomic <laughs> Banshee. But right out the gate, I was like, I like her. I'm, my money is on Atomic Banshee coming into this match. I can't wait to see what happens. She's already flipping off the crowd here. Yeah. This is my kind of people. Yeah, you know, she got a little punk rock in her. You know what I mean? She's throwing up the horns. Oh. She got some swag to her, too. <laughs> we made eye contact. My soul almost left my body. Renee, oh. she's, she's hot in a very scary type of way. <laughs> but at the same time, just, they are staring daggers in between each other. This, my friends, is going to get violent. It's going to be some very unique styles on the ring, I think. It's very cool style and a great tool. This is gonna, how they use the tool and they're going to wrestle. Here we go, Lady Antoinette going for that steel chair right out the gate, wasting no time to inflict damage on Atomic Banshee. Oh, 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 oh. Double, double birds. As we yeah. say, no Fs given. I, I can see why you like her. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This seems like your type of people. 
<laughs> There's quite the size difference between Banshee and, uh, and Lady Antoinette. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, she's uh, choking on those bad words she said to Lady Antoinette right now. The ref is here really just to count the three. She could do this all night long if she feels like it. I wonder what Atomic Banshee's game plan is coming into this. Uh, you know, she she's pure evil. She wants to use that edge to let people do the dirty work for her. So is she going to let Lady Antoinette come in here, get all of her tools out there, and then get to work? Oh, oh we got a oh, giant whoa. swing. Oh, my goodness. Am I, Claudio am I gonna Castagnoli catch? is shaking in his boots somewhere. That's a giant Claudio, wherever you're watching, you have 24 hours to respond. <laughs> How can you imagine she has the powers like John Swan? Oh God! Goodness. Oh my goodness. Renee, I know you have a kinship with Atomic Banshee, but Lady Antoinette, who has a lot of deathmatch experience, you by proxy have a lot of deathmatch experience. What, what's in the psyche of a person who says, you know what, violence, metal, hitting people, that's my type of thing. My guess is that you've got to go into a match like this and not have any... Oh. oh! Wow! You can't have a game plan. The game plan is not having a game plan. Yeah. Throw it all at the fence, see what happens, swing for the fences, and just reach under the ring and hope for the best. Speaking of throwing it to the fences, Atomic Banshee tried to throw a little bit of, uh, you know, powder, dust, or something to harm Lady Antoinette, but she plays some great defense with that steel chair. Not just for offense, people can also uh, uh, come in handy. Really sure. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is my type of wrestling right here. Some straight up violence. Choke her out. My only true piece of advice here is to have lots of ointment on hand, a little <laughs> spray peroxide. <laughs> Don't sleep on white sheets. Yes. Write a nice note to the Airbnb, say sorry <laughs> for messing y'all <it> up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. I'll tell you what, Atomic Banshee isn't throwing no birds right now, man. She can barely stand up. Now you can see just how comfortable Lady Antoinette is in this setting. This is her wheelhouse. You can feel it. Oh! And again, this is the Joshi Puros. How much of the power is here on the ring? Atomic Banshee is a pretty small and stature woman. It takes a lot Why? of strength to hoist that steel chair around. I got to tell you guys, all of the miniature-sized women I've seen in wrestling have a slight bit of craziness to them <laughs> because you kind of need it to succeed in this industry. And wow. I think we're about to see it right now. Oh, my God. Here we go. Banshee, oh Banshee. Oh, this is lit. I ain't going to hold you. Oh. oh. Looks like a ground rule double. You know what's going to suck? That 17-hour flight back to Japan with your ears ringing <laughs> and perhaps bleeding. Oh, my so goodness. So fantastic. Oh, man. Watch your head, Lady Antoinette. Yes. Nope. Great defense from Lady Antoinette. And it's not so fun when the rabbit got the gun. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Trash can lid yeah, right to the still, head. Still, still, you're going to have the fire team split. But she ain't going down. Yeah, no, but I don't think Banshee knows oh, where she is mind. right now. <laughs> okay, the fire never give out. Yeah. yeah. No, she's going to come on. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What the? Atomic Banshee, that's my type of crazy. I, I told like you. It. I told you. I saw something special. Oh! Oh! oh. Here we go. Oh! Oh, look at that. That steals one. Oh, my gosh! Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. Ruff, do we have a winner? We're gonna wait for the word from our MC Coon. Oh, but she. Did Atomic Banshee win? Did Lady Antoinette win? We don't have an official word yet. The ref is still trying to sort out that. The winner of this match, representing the Dangerous Liaison. Oh, Lady Antoinette! What the hell just happened?
Olympics. Wow. Wow. Snatching. Did... It seems like Atomic Banshee snatched the feet from the jaws of victory. She was so close. But that last minute roll up from Lady Antoinette scores her the victory. And oh. oh my gosh. Lady Antoinette, did, this did not get dirty enough for Lady Antoinette. She wanted more. You can feel it. She had more to throw at, at Banshee tonight. Yeah. With it in the spectacle. And I don't there. think she appreciated that powder in the face either. No, nobody would. Hey, a win's a win. A win is a win. You don't get wow. paid for how you won. But how to change it? So changing, so great. The they don't give out style the points. Russia, Joshi Prudus again, great. They don't give out style points for wins. They just count them as a victory. If we are blessed by the commissioner, the 2024 WWE Hall of Famer, how for my money the GOAT, Bonacano is in the building. We are in the presence of greatness. As a Japanese, the Purusa fan is so proud of her because she made a history of the Joshi Purus. She's the first one. So proud of her. Saya Renee, I am and honored. I'd like to introduce the one and only legendary commissioner of Sukeban, Boo Nakano! <laughs> All right. It is now time for our main event this evening. For the Sukeban World Championship, scheduled for one fall. First making her way to the ring, she's a challenger representing Cherry Bomb Girl. Crush you! Now, Renee, you asked me if I had a favorite coming into tonight. And here she is, Krushu of the Cherry Bomb Girls. The style is impetuous. The swag is impregnable. And she's here in the main event of Suki Bar Los Angeles. Let's get it cracking. We had a little shade of Yokozuna as soon as we saw her make her way during her entrance. I love it. And she is the mightiest member here in Sukeban. She has a skill with a sheer heart to lecture the helper smart. It's so great. So look at this. So kawaii. And her opponent, she's a Sukeban world champion representing the dangerous liaison, Komanda Nakajima. Flanked by the dangerous liaison, here comes the Sukeban world champion. Commander Nakajima is here and ready to defend her title. Look at how she helps him all that. Nakajima is a ring general, precision striker, unmatched technical skill, strength, an incredible wrestling IQ, undefeated, absolute badass. 
Oh, yeah, she's the one with the best like, good light that she put put a rose water thing. And not for nothing, she kind of getting a fit off right now. That jacket is fire. <laughs> what I would give. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> And here we go, people, with the commissioner, the legend, the Hall of Famer, Bull Nakano, ready to do the honors. That's going to be so interesting because they have the different style. Totally. Beautiful championship. Yes. What a night it's been here in downtown Los Angeles. Wow, it's kind of the Japanese style. I love that belt. Beautiful. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful one. I want to hold it. Worth also untold. To it. According to most, it's worth untold sums. How much it took to get that title created. And it's a beautiful one indeed. Now the really interesting thing coming into this matchup is that Commander Nakajima is looking to retire this summer. She could be retiring with that championship still around her belt. What would that mean for the rest of Sukeban? I mean, you got to call it like you see it. If she retires with the world title, Everybody wants to go out on top, but when you got a challenger like Crush You, who is also undefeated, you want to knock the queen off of her crown, off of her throne. And she's got the chance to do it here in the main event right here in downtown Los Angeles. That's going to be great, the wonderful, amazing. Best thing as the front is starting right now. I feel like in a matchup like this with that much weight added onto this, this is not just even cool. This isn't wow. just about the Cherry Bomb girls. This is about Sake Bond as an entire promotion. Oh, oh my God. God. Look at the power. Oh. A little bit of a leg trip, headlock takeover. Got a little bit of a. Oh. The brute strength of Crush You. Not even breaking a sweat yet. But Commander Nakajima. The worst. But, oh. <laughs> like walking into a brick wall. Yes. Sometimes you are the fly, and sometimes you and are the windshield. OK, what's going on right now, Los Angeles? All the stables are out here. The Cherry Bomb girls on one side. Come on. Wow. It's just nice. It's, it's, a, it's a melee out here. All the crews, the Cherry Bomb girls, the Dangerous Liaisons. Uh, Lady Antoinette's got what? a steel chair in her hands again. She still wants more violence. She didn't get enough in the last match. Wow. Oh. Double stomp right on the steel pavement here. Oh my goodness, that definitely oh. is not going to tickle. That's coming. Crush you who has yet to taste defeat here as Sukiban is getting that handed to her as we speak. Lady Antoinette is gonna take a nice little seat. Oh, or maybe someone else is gonna take a seat. <laughs> it's gonna be hot one. Look at this, she is brewing at the chair. Oh my goodness. This is unbelievable. I mean, come on, this is a championship matchup. What? Have a little respect for the title. Listen, and look at the Cherry Bomb girls over here just. Listen, I got respect for authority, but come on, ref. You got to get in there and do something. You got to get in there and do something. You want to talk about gang warfare? That's exactly what we're seeing here right now in Poor Crush You. Just being oh. demolished. A running boot from the champ, flanked by the Dangerous Liaisons. We have learned a lot about the Dangerous Liaisons tonight. Not my kind of people. Not my right. kind of people, but they get the job done, and they are the ones with the world championship in their possession. And Commander Nakajima is letting everybody have it. It's one thing to win. It's a whole other thing to rub their face in it. And now we got a melee between both the crews. Sonny Bomb trying to clean house, help out, crush you, get her back in the ring, at least give her a fighting chance in this matchup. Unfortunately, poor 
crush you just walking into some boots to the head from Commander Nakajima. Uh-oh. Oh, we got yes, a little bit this of this is what she did. We got a, 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 a version of the disarmor right here made famous by, by Becky Lynch. And that arm, the only thing that's stopping Commander Nakajima from getting a victory is that big, beefy arm of Crushu fighting with all of her strength to get to the ropes and break the hole. Good ring awareness by Crushu. Made her Made, got her foot over to the rope. This has been some of the most wildest, most violent four minutes of action I've seen anywhere. These girls are beating the hell out of each other outside it's the ring. It's been nonstop. There's, there's violence in the ring. There's violence out the ring. There's violence on the stage. There's chairs. There's powder. She's getting choked out by her own braid. Oh. I gotta tell you, Crush You has never seen this much devastation oh, yeah. in her Sukiban career. Crush You seeing stars. Sukiban career is all going over. <laughs> Nakajima <laughs> going up top. Okay, there's a comic. Oh, chocolate. What is that? Big missile drop kick. Going for the cover. One, two. And just a nonchalant. Not even the care in the world about Crush You. She has not broken a sweat. She does not look remotely stressed out at the, the potential of losing her championship here tonight. And that's why she's the world champ. Right. Commander Nakajima into the ropes. Crush You, oh. sidewalk slam, no. King Konami, oh, oh my God. are you kidding me? Let's go crush are you. you kidding me? <laughs> what a slam, crush you. Now can she harness this momentum? This place is going bonkers tonight, my God. I can imagine, look at here on a can you hear me? It's a lot Ooh. of the good way to like an audience here in Los Santos. <laughs> Guys, it is lit in here. I'm sorry. If you're not here in Los Angeles, you are missing out. Oh. Here we go. Shake those Woo. ropes. Commander Nakajima. Condition just as good as she could take it. Oh. I stay corrected. That chops at Nakajima right back to Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This has been a special main event, a worthy main event for Los Angeles. This is a hot power. What is set time? I crush you. One, two. Oh, oh kick out. Wow. We are not close. How did Nakajima kick out of that? Her ribs have to be crushed after that blow. You got to always, always, never. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. What's going on? She's going to the top rope. Oh. Uh oh. Now she's tied up in the ropes. Uh oh. We're going up top. And you know what happens Down. next? Oh. A double stop right through the chest. Oh, baby. The champ is heading right back up top. And she's going for two. Oh, my God. Another oh, double good stop. Good Lord. Oh, my goodness. One, One, two. two. Crush you stays alive, but what she got left? Uh, Queen Nakajima's got a little bit of a nerve hold right now. A nerve crush hold you. on her windpipe. <laughs> My God. After a match that's gone this long and been this violent, not being able to breathe doesn't seem like a great thing right now. She has the power right now. Oh, my God. It's going to be. Oh! oh! There's no defense for that, Renee and Sayo. That's not a body. We cannot explain how much 
catching the weight this much. Oh, and now you want to talk insult to injury. Come on, a little stink face. A little bit of a... Oh, a cannonball! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! No! Oh, my God! One, One two. two! Oh, my God! <laughs> What's Whoa. it going to take? Incredible. What's it going to take to put away the champ? You get up on that top rope and lands this. This has got to That's be it. it for Nakajima. We will have a new champion in Suzuki. Now Pinnacle. One, two. two. Oh, oh, almost. Oh. Kick to the arm. Close line to Nakajima. One, two. Oh, Lady Antoinette. Come on. Let's go. The Queen of Hearts and King Konami all over Crush U. Crush U's about to clean house. That's, that's a bottle. It's going to be. And that's it. And the uh, oh, wow. Hurricane Rana. One, two. two. Wow, the first defeat for Crush U comes from the hands of the Sukiban World Champion and still World Champion, Commander Nakajima. Wow, this crowd. The winner of this match and still Skeban World Champion. Nakajima's gonna need special security to get out of this building. The crowd is not oh happy about that. <laughs> not, this place was going crazy for Crush U. They were wilding out. But at the end of the day, Crush U went for the power bomb. The Hurricane Rana hooked the leg. And sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Luckily for Nakajima, she's both tonight. Huge match I ever watched before. Do it. Oh, oh wait a second. Sorry, Bob. Oh my goodness. And now, <laughs> this is pure chaos. Right now, he's on madness. the ring. The what the hell? Wrestler. What's going on? Many wrestlers are on the ring right now. Sorry, is on Nakajima. I'm sorry, I'll have to get this for the ground. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Where's the Nakajima? Renee, what's going on? Oh my god. This is insane. Kyle, what's going on? This is Sukiwan. Yay! Joshi Kubo Brown. Oh my god. Guys, I love pro wrestling so Me much. Too. <laughs> this was unreal. What a night. What a showing. What a representation of women's wrestling. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better myself. But at the end of the day, the champ is still here. Commander Nakajima, leader of the Dangerous Liaison, still the Sukibon World Champ. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight. This is Sukeba! Oh, hi.